Why is food safety an issue today? It's the increase of death rate, the increase of illnesses, the increase of hospitalization, and the increase of repeat illnesses. So in today's segment, we're going to recalibrate, redefine nutrition, elimination, and detox. You have what is known as cross-contamination. Cross-contamination is that they prepare something, right? Let's say they're cutting meat, right? And the wife comes in or, or whoever comes in and says, hey, the kids want watermelon. So the same knife that's cutting the red meat, the raw red meat, will cut the watermelon. Right, that's cross-contamination because you're going from one contaminant, which is a bacteria, which we know E. coli love. The law used to be a lot lower to cook the burgers, but the death rate was a lot higher. Now the death rate is a lot lower because of just that one little difference of cooking the burger 10 degrees. Bacteria loves protein. Cheese, cheese is pure bacteria, right? So we have different types. We have bacteria, right? That's where the parasites come in. You have parasites, which there's a thousand different types of parasites. So mostly you can have it in mold, you can have it in, in bacteria. Are they washing their hands for, with hot water, with soap? Are they, are they doing it for 20 seconds? It's, that's the number one reason, cross-contamination. And we could talk about uh, red meat, uh, the number one uh, parasite, were mostly parasites because it's, you know, red meat and protein, right? So, and the way they feed it, the way they're, they're, they're packaged, FDA, they, FDA, you know, it's, they're doing everything they can. But we have to take it in our responsibility to, to figure out what's the best meat, what's the best source. It's not their responsibility, it's our responsibility. Okay, so here we are in the meat section, right? The meat section, probably the most of, of the parasites, that, that's why you have to cook it. There's certain temperatures uh, in restaurants, especially if you, if you want to reheat something, always reheat it at 165 degrees. Make sure it's reheated at that temperature so you can get rid of all the bacteria in that, in that piece of meat. And it should be reheated more than once. Um, the law states, and they keep changing the law, that something can't be in your refrigerator longer than seven days. I usually get, after the next day, if I'm not eating, it, I'm throwing it away. Because it's just festering bacteria. You know, a lot of these people that get sick in restaurants, in your home, they don't report it. Because they know that what they did wrong. Okay? So it's something... You know, it just makes sense. You, you really have to know the source, right? So that's how you recalibrate, you're redefining it. And let's go over to the seafood section, okay? So this is, this is probably one of the worst types of, of parasites that you can get. Then also the, in, in the fish, you have parasites, you have worms. So let's talk about the worms in fish Especially now that it's, uh, uh, you know, the, the farm-raised, farm -raised, you know, uh, farm-raised, it could be, you know, uh, who knows what they're feeding it. So that's, they, they say farm-raised right now is the deadliest fish, is the, is, is the most dangerous food on the planet. And here I thought it was ketchup and french fries. <laughs> so here you have smoked salmon, lots of salt. The smoked salmon, very uh, a lot of salt in it. This is the shell food, the seafood. Lots of parasites, lots of worms, lots of good fish. But you have to cook it. You can't eat it raw. You have to cook it. Unless you're out in the ocean, in the middle of the ocean, and you're fishing. But it's all contaminated now. So you, you have to prepare it. You can't eat the, the salmon that's, that's frozen or uh, uh, farm raised, you have to eat wild. You have to, I mean, I know the mercury and all that. That's why you can also detox your body. But it, it, it's, it's a constant, it's a constant thing with, with the food nowadays. It's constant and constant. Looks great, 
you know, it looks awesome. Okay, so here it is, temperature control. So they just changed the law again. Anything between uh, 41 and, 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 and 145 is in the danger zone. Anything in, in that. It has to be below 41 degrees, especially in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, it has to be below 41 degrees. That's the wall. And then uh, anything above 145 to cook, it has to be, those are the temperature uh, regular, nothing in between, right? So that's, if not, it's temperature abuse. The law also states that it was for, last, last time for restaurants, it was um, four violations and then they shut you down. Now it's one. They, they can shut you down for one violation in restaurants. Like, let's say there's no hot water, they can shut you down. There's, uh, the refrigerator is not at 41 degrees. It's higher, it's 45 degrees, 46 degrees, 43 degrees. They can shut you down. Um, the, um, just on and on and on. They, they, they can watch you and if you don't wash your hands, if they come up to you and they ask you, where do you wash your hands? And you say, well, I wash them over there. They can shut you down because you have to know that you have to wash your hands in a wash, in a hand sink. That's the proper, or in the restroom. But in the kitchen, you wash your hands in the, uh, the hand sink. When do you wash your hands? All the time. The only time you don't wash your hands is when you touch a pen. That's the only exception. You wash your hands when you put your hand in your pocket, if you go outside, if you're uh, cooking something, you, you go from cooking and you throw something out and there's a trash, you're taking it, you, you wash your hands. That's because of the cross-contamination of food. People don't wash their hands when they're preparing a sandwich for somebody because they'll, they'll wash, okay, they'll make the sandwich, right? And then they pay and then they start making another sandwich. No, you have to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds 